ClickHouse 25.3 introduced the query condition cache. This cache caches the ranges of data that match a given filter, i.e. a WHERE clause. It operates at the granule level, which means it can help ClickHouse exclude lots of data during repeated query execution, even if the overall query shape changes. It's especially useful in dashboarding or observability use cases where we're often running multiple queries that have the same WHERE clause. Let's have a look at a blue sky table that we're going to use to demonstrate this feature. In particular, notice that it's ordered by data.kind and then the timestamp. We're going to do a quick count so you can see we've got 100 million records and this is an example of one of the records that we've got stored. We're now going to write a query that doesn't make good use of the sorting key. So we're going to filter by data kind, we're going to filter by operation, collection, and then we're going to be looking for, in the text, for there to be the pretzel emoji. And you see if we run that query, it takes 0.8 seconds and it's processing 99.4 million rows, which is pretty much all the rows. Let's update the query to introduce the query condition cache and we'll run it again. The first time it runs, you'll notice that again, it takes 0.8 seconds and it's processed those 99 million records. But if we try one more time, you can see it's now down to very, very fast 50 milliseconds and it's only had to process 2 million rows. We can then write a query against the query log to look for the type query finish for our particular database and then we'll get the last two records and you can see it comes back. The, the top one is the most recent query that we ran and you can see that's getting all cache hits and then the previous one because it had, there wasn't anything cached it's getting all cache misses. We can also have a look at the condition cache itself and if we scroll all the way up we can see we get we'll get one of these rows for each part and condition and then if you look at matching marks each entry is a one, means that some rows in that granule match the filter condition. So you can see the first few ones, there's a lot of matches, and then there's a whole load of non-matches, so we'll be able to ignore those. We can then update the query to compute the most popular language used to post about pretzels. Notice that the WHERE clause stays exactly the same and the, this query response is rapid. So it's again under 50 milliseconds and this time it's processed 1 million records. And finally, we can check the query log for that most recent query and you can see it's all cache hits. If you want to see more videos going into different ClickHouse features, check out this playlist next.